Hello everyone, just thought I'd do a quick video today on how to upgrade the Dell Inspiron 135368 laptop, or I guess the 135000 series, um, with more memory. So right here I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this laptop currently has 4 gigabytes in it, but it is upgradable to 16 from what I've been told. So, um, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that today. First of all, just go ahead and uh, power it off. Make sure your computer is completely powered down before you uh, take it apart. So now what you want to do is unscrew all um, all of the screws. There should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to go and do that real quick. Alright, so once you've got all of the screws removed from the computer, I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart. You just snap it apart at the back here and uh, this whole plate comes off and set that aside. And now you can see all the components of your laptop. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you wanted to replace the hard drive, or which in my case is an SSD, you'd simply remove this screw, this screw, and you can, this uh, SATA connector here actually comes off. I don't want to take it off right now though because it's not unscrewed. Um, but you can take that out. I think there's some screws on the side of the this little mounting bracket thing, and you can just take the SSD or hard drive that's in there out, replace it with whatever you want. Um, there's also a, I believe that's an M2 Wi-Fi card. You can remove that and replace it with an SSD or a Wi-Fi card, I guess. Um, but I don't have either of those things. This is already upgraded to a one terabyte SSD. So the thing we're interested in is the RAM here. So all I have to do is pull on these two tabs, RAM comes out, 4 gigs of RAM, you know, save it for another machine I guess, and uh, it's time to open this RAM here. Um, that is if I can do it one handed, uh, hold on. Alright, we got the RAM out, and uh, I believe for this computer you do not need to install the RAM in uh, pairs, like dual channel configuration. Um, you could install a 4 gig and an 8 gig or an 8 gig and a 4 gig, whatever, and uh, make 12 gigs. I don't know why you'd want to, but if you only had one 8 gig stick, I guess you could do that. Um, now what you want to make sure is, uh, see this part is longer than this part? You want to have this part like that, and make sure you do that with both sticks of RAM. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, then you just want to push the RAM into the slot like that, and push it down, and you'll see these two little arms grab onto the RAM. And uh, yeah, I believe actually. Ah, uh, no, you want the longer, yeah, you still want the longer part like that. And, uh, just repeat this process for the other RAM slot. Make sure it's all the way in. And, oops, I did not install that right. Um, okay, what did I do wrong? Okay. So you do have to install it all the way and make sure it's even. And it is. Okay, now I'll just snap it down. I believe that's good. It's in all the way. It's kind of odd how it sits in there with the second stick, but okay. Um, Alright, now what you'll probably want to do first before you even put the back cover on and screw it in and everything like that is... Uh, Open up the computer and turn it on and make sure it actually boots before you
close it up. There we go. That didn't sound good. Um, oh, that that was not supposed to. That was the speaker. That wasn't supposed to come off. Oh dear. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Yeah, you want to make sure your RAM is all the way in and snap down properly. In my case, mine isn't, so it's not going to boot. Um, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. That was an awful sound it made. Alright, it helps if you're not trying to install it with one hand. Um, it really wouldn't have mattered. So let's go ahead and uh, pull that up and... Turn it on. Again, this thing's... Uh, on second thought, you probably do want to uh, at least put the case on. Don't screw it in, but... Because this thing keeps popping up. So, to do that, all you gotta do... I believe it will work once I just close it up, so I'll do that. Um, grab this, and starting from the bottom... Just go ahead and, it's actually magnetized, push it in and uh, snap it down. Then just snap it down on all of the sides, like that. It will sound awful while you're doing this. It's, this laptop sounds very breaky while you're opening it. And uh, go ahead and, oh, oh yeah. Little corner there's magnetized. I always have trouble opening this laptop one handed. Alright. Now powered on. Power it on. Power lights on. Power lights off. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't support 16 gigs. Let me take one of the sticks out and see what happens. Alright, so apparently either the system wasn't completely off or it has some issue when you turn it off during post. I'm not sure. But, um,. Turning it off and on a couple times has made it actually boot up. And if we go ahead and boot to the BIOS and take a look at our system information, as you can see, it says we have 16,000 megabytes of RAM, which is correct, as we just installed 16 gigs. 16 times 1024 is 16,384. Um, it is a little bit less available because part of it's being used for the integrated uh, graphics, but overall we've successfully upgraded the RAM on this thing. And now we can go ahead and boot over to whatever operating system you have installed. Um, what you should probably do actually real quick is put the screws back in. Go and do that real quick. Alright, now real quickly, before the phone and laptop die at the same time, before the focus dies, there is Ubuntu recognizing all 16 gigs of, well, 15.5 gigs of the 16 gigs of RAM. Remember again that part of that is being used for the uh, integrated graphics. But anyway, that's how to upgrade the memory in your Dell Inspiron 135368 laptop, or I guess the 135000 series. Um, now, I do recommend you get the upgrades for the RAM directly from Crucial or one of those places, as they can ensure the memory is compatible with your system. There are certain types that aren't compatible with this laptop. It is DDR4, but I think it's like DDR4 24 something like that RAM that you need for this thing um, but once you have that install it 
if the system doesn't boot after you install the RAM, reseed it and continually power the system off and on and plug it in the charger and you should be good to go and there's your RAM upgrade and if you installed a hard drive or SSD or Wi-Fi card upgrade you'll see that too and uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching.